Yeah. Yo, 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 this is Benjamin's Room Podcast. We live at Music Box Studio. This yeah. episode 11. I'm Benjamin. We got, and we got a very, very special wow. guest. Skip in here, man. Oh. Yes, Skip in here. This got to be one of the greatest. First of all, I'm blessed. <laughs> it's all love, KP, baby. We on boom. Yo, Thanks for having me. We got so much to cover with Skip. Like... Like we're gonna get it in. Yeah, we're gonna get it in. We're gonna get it in. This is gonna be this is gonna be real, real good. You got your lighter? Oh, you, know, you got your lighter? No, I ain't got no lighter. I need a lighter. You heard me? Appreciate it. Appreciate it. Appreciate it. Appreciate it. Still love Everybody. <laughs> <laughs> Man, let's get this <coughs> started like we posted. Bro. Boom. Um we started out <coughs> when we came in here first thing we always talk we talk about the community. You did. You always been entrenched in a community. You do get do the bike giveaways, you do Three dollar chicken, please. Five dollar chicken, please. Yeah, you, you, you hear me? So like all them children, they they go straight up. They change. They come and get something to eat after school. Hey, Shout they, out to they, everybody who support Chicken and Water, man. Man, thank you. Yes, Lord. Man, look, bro, you're a mainstay in our community, bro, and we appreciate everything that you bring forth to this thing, bro. Bro, I'm from New Orleans. I love y'all. Uh, thank you, <laughs> man. The look, I want the. I, I'm, I'm gonna get. I'm gonna get straight to the shit. You hear me? Um, on episode, what episode that was, we covered the Wild Wayne Effect. About three, four ago. All right. So we covered the Wild Wayne Effect. And What's the Wild, Wild Wayne Effect? I said the Wild Wayne Effect <laughs> is, <laughs> is the fact that Wild Wayne is kind of like entrenched with Q93. Yeah, right, he so along. so he like the face of Q ninety three, and that's a good thing, yeah, right? Because because he, he he handling a very positive way, well, but but the the politics of radio, right? Yeah, kind of cut out everybody else when you the nice guy. Like I have a thing where I don't trust nice people. Like <laughs> yeah. like, like like you might be nice. I don't trust nice people because they do the most rootless shit. I, I you mean, know what I'm saying? I so like that way. <laughs> so it's like. But he, but he did play, play po politically correct. You know what I'm saying all the time, and that that brought a, a look to New Orleans at the time that, that we ate off. Boom. But it cut out all of, it, it cut out everybody that really put this together. You know what I'm saying in in a sense because once 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 the payola per se started with the cash money and no limits and. It kind of killed all the independent labels, and this that the, this the, the backup man. effect. That was the G that man. Feel. Yeah, we on the after effect. Of that. This, this the after effect. Of all that shit. Yeah. Because now they can't get out of bed. They don't know how to come back. It's 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 the radio kind of funny. Yeah. Why Wayne just really be? I I I I look. I love and respect for Why Wayne, but really be saving the job. The look slab go, jelly gone. So it's kind of hard over there at the radio station, like a motherfucker. Right. You got to be political, right? and you got to straddle the line. We ain't really just over there getting his money, probably going for his retirement pop. He's not really calling no big old shots, but he got his voice up there because he a voice over. Mm -hmm. So uh, all of the, the, the all of he get a lot of feedback too because he right on the front street. Not right. seen him attack that nigga, right. but it, he ain't got no power over there like that. He just really over there at his job, but he take it. He on he on, he on voices opinion about it. He take it like a man and just be cool with it. I be like, what I admire about the nigga, right? Because I know we ain't got no power to play your shit. No, he a this jockey. He ain't the fucking general, the GM, or say what music he play or nothing. That's right. the other motherfucker over there that's holding all them back. Right. But they, but nigga be on, on them like a motherfucker a little, but they don't really be calling out like a motherfucker. But that's who holding the music back. Like a mother, right. other cities ain't knowing that. I ride through Alabama right now. Seven, eight o'clock, they got number of their locals playing on the radio. Right. right. Bumping that shit. Getting nigga out of voice. Baton Rouge been pushing their locals, got to be getting on like a motherfucker. It's not the fact that the cash money no limit had to pay all of him. It's just like what they doing now is what's holding the fucking game up. You got niggas that the people love. I, I, I saw him turn Rob Four Nine on. I liked that. I liked that. Yeah, but that was after. After after the city had to move and the move was already behind him, and the high ups yeah. had to make the move and she probably heard the move and then turned it on there. Well, but we they, never but, heard B T Y Younger. And then everybody loved him. Everybody loved Max Payne, Max P was Everybody popping around that him. time too. Jay Jones, right? They got Jay Jones, artists that come to that people love, and yet they don't give them no love on the radio. Right? Absolutely not. Well, what, well, what, I'm a platinum artist. Don't get no love on the, the radio. While, while Wayne had had reached out to me, he said that he would love to hear um, people who feel like they've been affected by that situation speak because he said he felt like he he done right by everybody. 
He tried because he knew it wasn't on him. Right. He knew right. it wasn't on him. I right. had to read the half, you know. Right. I just work him. Yeah. Them is about to ask me. That's like <laughs> right, 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 yeah. right, right, right. And I just, he's trying to do right by people because it's really not his call. He had a mixture at one time. He used to play a nigga. The mixture right now, Ro got the mixture. DJ Ro. Right. Mm -hmm. DJ Ro got the mixture. That been a totally paid for. Right. You ain't got none of them dudes in this mix show. You got Boogoo Country niggas on that mix show like this shit popping every week and he playing that shit. But Ro my homie and I love Ro too. And I ain't really gonna call him out like that because that's my dude and all. But nigga, right. you gotta say what it is. You gotta stop trying to be kosher. I just wanna say what it is. Fuck. Get your money, get your fucking money, my nigga. All right, my nigga. And you have a lot of relationships that's like that. With that, all of them, yeah. Like you, like, you have relationships with Sets 4 5, right? I know, um, I know. Um, now, with, with, with Sets 4 5, on my side, Right on, on on my side of just knowing says right, um, I see what he did on all all this development side. I see what he put out money, and you know what I'm saying like just kept putting out money, kept putting out money, and wasn't really popping. You know yeah, what I'm saying? He, but he, he, but he, he kept he, trying, he just just be just fucking with all this. I, I just says this to right now because he get a lot of backlash from all this. In the beginning, says had some scumbag deals. He okay. was doing a lot of scumbag business in, in the beginning when he first started out. All right. But that's probably how everybody is coming out of the street, because in the street you do scumbag business and that's how you work. Right. But then later on he found out how to do good business and right right now. Seth's do great business right now. Right. But right. it's just his past he probably can't scratch off from a nigga like, no, nigga, you did bad business before, that's it. But he just be doing the game with everybody doing. Seth right. might know a nigga got it for fucking a little cheaper. He might put a twenty dollar tax or something on that bit pal. But that was everybody doing and the corner store niggas doing that. Right. Right. But, nigga, but then right. they be on set hard for like doing it. Like, you should have given it to me for your price. Come on, my nigga. Why do why you think that he gets to that? And, and, and the only reason why I feel like you so, like, because you are entwined with all these all people. Of, yeah, I'm getting real. And, you know, and you don't always get that kind of backlash. But, you know, but you see, you, and you're I mean, not well, shy. I'm not trying not to, I ain't trying to beat nobody. Right. I was in the game a lot, and I, my whole, when I sold drugs, my whole motto was, is, it's not a deal if we both don't walk away happy. Right. If one of them walk away feeling played, that means I don't play it on. Right. So if we both ain't walk away from a deal happy, it was a bad deal for bad somebody. Deal. Right. Yeah, right. so I'm just trying to make sure everybody happy we leave, and they can know that. Everybody gonna make money, everybody gonna be happy, and the deal gonna go through perfect. Uh, it's gonna be a bad deal, now that's how I roll. But some niggas will be like, well, that's how it fell on you, and I won, but right. I ain't really moving like that. Right. I'm gonna make sure that bitch happy on all, everybody, Happy won't come back to them. Do the bitch again. I'm gonna make money off the next deal, the next deal, the next deal, not just in one pop. Right, right. Well, and, and and the only reason why I bring up a successful five in a while, Wayne, because I know that um they have they have a nice business relationship, and you have relationships with both both oh, of them. Yeah. But you was kind of like the loudest voice in the room when it was like the, when Uptown Angela came up and like you was like one of the loudest voices. I had really got mad because niggas know I fuck with my nigga Pook. Rest in peace, shout out my nigga Pook, Six Wall Pook. Right. Boom, Pook and Angela had some kind of deal going on right before Pook died. Right. He, I, I'm running with Pook, we doing music, and he already told me. We right. gang and everything. Right. But then he died and you would act like you ain't even give you nothing. And I'm like, bitch, you ain't gonna just play my homie that just died on cancer. I had got so personal with that and I was hurt. Right. Bitch, you, on, you wouldn't have beat him if he was alive. Since he died of cancer, you gonna beat him? Right. No, I ain't gonna, I'm gonna stand on that. I ain't gonna let you beat him. When I see you, I'm gonna do yourself. You need your old man to get me off. Right. I'm that man. I'm that man. If my man, me and my man running together, head, head, boom, I know you front you half a key or whatever. I'm front my nigga half a key, boom, he died. And I know you front him half a key, now you gonna run out with the money. Why you get the money to the man wiping up? Right. You ain't gonna beat him because he died, nigga. I'll do you something too, nigga. Right. I'm right. like that. Y'all tripping. Right. Now you gonna die, you gonna beat him? No, you're not, bitch. You're gonna, you're gonna, why, why should it happen when I see you? Right. So what happened with that situation? That, that situation they gave it back and got it right. They made it right. Right. But just from being in that situation, why you just ain't turn the fucking mad music on? Right. Nigga. Right. That's how horrible the fucking system is. Uh, Nigga. Can it be fixed? You think can it be fixed? You gotta change them all out. Every radio station change all the people up. Well, you gotta Atlanta tell ain't still got the most people. Atlanta yeah. ain't still got the same people in charge of radio that was there in the fucking 80s, 90s. That's where they still St. Louis ain't still got the same people there. Atlanta ain't still got the same people there. Why? But New Orleans like that, though. You know, New Orleans old people, like, once they get a spot, like, them motherfuckers no, be trying to hold their spot. They don't retire yet, no. Now you got 30, what the fuck? <laughs> <laughs> you trying to get it? You nigga be at Burton still nigga. going down and shit like bitch go home, go bitch. home man. You hear me? Like your time, but and 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 that that's one of the problems I have with our mill. And and 
the main problem is that it's dangerous to want to be liked in this she city. She want a rap deal, I think. Yeah. I think she wants a rap deal. No. They need to sign up. To want to be like in this city yeah. is dangerous. That's dangerous to do, dog. Because you know how we do. Oh, we going to kick you right in your stupid. fucking ass. The issue she attack is stupid. You told the police to attack the people for letting people in there with COVID cause when you got the fucking door handle pullers fucking up the city everywhere. You wouldn't even worry about them? The quality of, li uh, quality of life in this city is just hard for you. Dude. Man. Though, you growing up in Hiding Grove, you mm -hmm. grew up in, in, the, in the same 17 area, right? Um, the city got so much going on, bro. And um, what are some ways that you just kind of just stick to business? Because as long as I knew you, it was all business. They had so much shit going on in this city. I call you it the, business, uh, business, business. I got it from the old lady when I sold drugs on the corner. My me, we called the store on the. I don't know what the name. We called it my me, my me. We was on the corner. We had so much bullshit on the corner every day. We got forty niggas out here selling rocks and set pumping everybody making about a rack a day. So they got to be about six thousand dollars on the corner every day. She on that bitch, she come open that store every day and go home and don't get intertwined and none of that bullshit they go on every day. Right. I call it the mommy effect. I just get up every day, I don't give a fuck what's going on, I'm going to get my money, yeah. make my shit run and go my ass home, my dollars. <laughs> Once you remove from that shit, you dig? But at the same time, this shit is... They got all kind of killing, drugs, yeah, gun, yeah. prostitution, getting twined, none of that. Who is, who is DJ Herb? DJ Herb is the creator of the, what they call the beat. See, everybody say, oh, that beat, that beat. But they don't know where it came from. The first nigga to ever do it was DJ Irving Ghost Town. They had a song. I don't think that the song was named Woke One Morning, but we just called it Woke One Morning now. Right, right, they right. already remember, but Woke One Morning was a slow record. He took the Trigger Man instrumental and put it under that bitch. The first nigga to ever do this to any song. Woke DJ Irving. Yeah, he put that fucking that Trigger Man on that bitch and created what they called the beat. Ingo, nigga, we in this bitch. I wasn't even old enough to get in that bitch. We in this bitch. I'm young as a motherfucker. So, I got the crackhead ID. I'm in this bitch. It's going down. So, so, all right. They didn't have MCs and shit then? No, he had T.T. Tuck. He had to tell T.T. Tuck what to say. He had put the fucking, uh, the same instrument on. And T.T. Tuck on that bitch with that. Where they at? Where they at? Where they at? Where they at? All night in this bitch. Ghost had them 40s. He wasn't even getting paid. Ghost paying them in bills. So, T.T. Tuck was like the first bounce artist. If you had to call the artist. You know, they had niggas like Jimmy and them, they had bounce songs. We were the first. Oh, Jimmy had songs before that. Yeah, before but that. Jimmy wasn't really in the club rocking that bitch like right, that. Right, 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 right. Tucker come in the club rocking that bitch. Where they at? For like four fucking hours, or three hours. They're going to play that and that trigger man, and they're going to play that fucking woke one morning. <laughs> that bitch going to kill that bitch with popping. So go DJ really got the shine back then. Yeah. He was on nigga set of tape. <laughs> DJ Earl was set of tape. He recording that bitch in there, dumping the tape in that bitch, recording the live set of tapes in that bitch. Back then, nigga, this had to be eight and nine. And what, what, he, what part of the city was it? Earl was from the seven wall. Yeah, Earl was from the seven wall, robber man nigga from the seven wall. He was a uh, stick up kid. What? Yeah, Earl Rob niggas. That was it. Snow Power that Rob niggas. That was Earl. Knew all this nigga on the foot. <laughs> <laughs> Why we like that? I don't know. That nigga was good in the crap. That was his nigga. Stone Pilot Rob. Look at that. Yo, I, I got to think. DJ Earth. Yo, I got a thing I always talk about uptown niggas, right? And you're an old, you older uptown nigga, right? So what's your problem with uptown niggas? Uptown? And, and, and downtown. You and look, no, no. I'm, I'm, I'm not from even from downtown. Oh, you West Bank. Listen. Yeah. West Bank yeah. niggas do not fuck with uptown. They don't. Nigga, I stay in the fish <laughs> every week. I'm telling you, boy, they don't fuck around uptown. This is something about. <laughs> look, look. I, and I got a theory. I always, I broke this, this theory down. So I'm going I'm to I'm I'm give you my theory, right? This is my theory on this shit. All right? The reason why uptown the most toxic part of the city, right? Like as for like the people they toxic like some motherfucker, right? Oh, really? And and they corrupted the whole world. <laughs> <laughs> they did. They, and I'm gonna tell you why. All right. At first there was just regular motherfuckers that was just oh. had talents and shit. Then they started fucking pumping that shit through that fucking port, right? 
and shit got weird and different. You hear me? And y'all got it first. You so, got so, so when you got a pork and you get shit first, you gonna magically be different. You know, it's like the niggas in New York. They different poor because cities, of the pork. Poor cities are small, are faster than other cities. So, so y'all a small poor city yeah. that's getting everything first. Yeah, it's right? knowledge coming everything, through so it's spread. Everything mm -hmm. pumping through first. So it fucked y'all up because y'all didn't really get a childhood. Like, ah! like, 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 so you know what I'm saying? Like, all every everybody I know my age uptown got dead poplars, like from yeah. gun violence early. Yeah, I'm from Marrero. I didn't have a dead partner to probably like 2000 from gun violence. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? Like, they you, got you knew people who got 15, shot, 30. but it was like niggas they age getting shooting niggas they age. Yeah, you ain't yeah. had like a 13 year old getting killed or that I knew personally. You oh, know what I'm saying? Right. But like, that was like. A current events for my cousins who live yeah, come up with Josephine yeah, and they shit. come up early and hard and uptown. Right. So and and and, and that's a real toxic because y'all the most talented motherfuckers and y'all attract the most attention. Even if you look at online right now, you got Ten Walk Buck from Uptown, you got Beatty, the pastor, Uptown, you got Murder, OG Murder. That's the three most toxic niggas on the internet right now. <laughs> Them niggas bring all the toxic Boo shit to the this, internet. They got what? This. And they don't give a fuck. At all. They don't give a fuck. And hey, like, uptown. And 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 think about this. Think about this. Think about this. For for the hurricane, right? Everything was like the the world was fucked up. But it wasn't as fucked up when they went to sprinkling all them fucking Katrina babies and all them fucking cities. That's when Chicago went fucking crazy. Only thing we used to hear about Chicago was Cabrini Green. Cabrini Green, oh Cabrini Green. Chicago so, turned up. Right after fucking Katrina, oh that Atlanta bitch turned up. Everybody hot boys. They got hot boys up. in every fucking city. Everywhere we went. Everywhere. Atlanta, they was just robbing niggas. You just hearing about them just them robbing yeah, Atlanta just niggas Atlanta and yeah. just Atlanta was all. Buku money. Atlanta was so. And so he was that so. You see the new generation at Atlanta. Florida they had they, 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 they grew up harder. The, yeah. All them Florida niggas right now is hot boy babies. Yeah. They grew up on that shit. Baltimore right now, the hot boys, the whole city, come, the whole city of Baltimore come out with hot boy reunion in Baltimore because yeah. they, they still on that hot boy shit. Y'all did that shit though. Like uh, y'all nah. fucked up. <laughs> America. <laughs> <laughs> And I just sit back and watch this like shit. That. I ain't looking at it like I this. Know, I know we could fix it here because we started this shit. When I'm in Kansas, <laughs> they, they still pumping that they shit. They're not fixing it. They still pumping that shit. No. They're not fixing no. it. And I, even went so far, I, I, I even went so far to say that BG was probably the first drill artist. Drill rap? Jesus was drill rap like a motherfucker? Yeah. Yeah, dog. You think about it. Was nobody wasn't rap. really. Rapping that like that, like yeah, he was rapping. Nigga in the wheelchair. What? Yeah. What? Like straight murder, straight. We going on. We went on a fucking lick. The nigga was it's dead inside when we it's came in. Like, straight drill. Oh, music. they was the first one spinning the bend. Him and Turk. Turk spinning the bend in every rap. Drill. BG He's spinning the bend. Oh, and 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 BG was was the major influence on Cash Money before like before yeah, everybody else. He was different. Yeah, BG BG yeah. was Baby was, BG was him. You hear me? One thing I didn't know about you, he from the fish. Yeah, I, I, I did 10 years in the Hendy, dog side. Facts. 20 to 10 Hendy, 3 8. Facts. Yeah, and then I tell nigga that, boy, y'all couldn't come on Hendy. Speak on the LJs. Yeah, yeah in that time. <laughs> I was in the fish in the 80s, nigga, right after they fucking police up. Man, from 81 to 90, I'm in the fish in Hendy, hard, nigga. I went to Fisher and Landry. And Clark and Foshe. Nigga, I'm dangerous. <laughs> 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 Yo, that's how everybody probably knew that. I was in Fisher Landing, Clark and Fauché, nigga. Tell you. All the famous niggas definitely went to... I'm about to test his history lesson right quick. To see if he know about this shit. You, <coughs> do you remember them talking about a time where the Desire got moved into the Fisher? Yeah, I, 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 that was how I was moving out. They came in 8-8. Uh, the they started moving them in. They were closing Desire. And they had to the transfer. That's how they started moving them in the Fisher then. About 8 8 and 9 that's that's what a night walk like they went yeah. to, they was going to wall in that bitch yeah. for a long time yeah because they were yeah. coming from another project yeah so fisher was, didn't like the fisher right hindi ain't fuck with the apac fisher was used to be for lg's back then LG, LG's in, i don't know how they got land and walker together i don't know how that ever happened that, that was, was that was a wall it was a wall in that everybody bitch. in the yeah, fisher project always was hostile dog and as long as i've been alive they've been a hostile group of people with like, the fisher <laughs> I told my nigga Holly Girl, I said, listen, my nigga, I moved from Holly Grove to the fishing. 
Back to Holly Grove. <laughs> I told my niggas in Holly Grove, listen, Holly Grove is y'all mental. <laughs> in Holly Grove, Holly Grove is so cold, Holly Grove is so mental on you better have your metal together. Nigga had you selling knee rocks for them. <laughs> they you getting rich. Man. My, you better be on your mental game. In the fishing, the fishing was physical. <laughs> bitch, you gonna fight every day here, bitch. You better be about the knuckles here. I, I had to have at least 50 city fights in the fishing. Yeah, I was right. a professional fighter by the time I come out the fishing project. <laughs> I had the 80 black eyes, I had the gay 800 black eyes. <laughs> nigga in the fishing one day, nigga told me, man, I gotta fight you because we ain't never fight yet. <laughs> <laughs> nigga, I just had to sneak what they know they didn't matter. <laughs> nigga say I ain't fight you yet. <laughs> nigga, what? You got no problem, dude. Oh. <laughs> you ain't getting it yet. You gotta get this nigga straight for fuck. Nigga! Dog! I'll bet they'll yell Mama Rose now. Dog! No, oh, I and I heard him say that in the song, and on um, Ten Way TV, Courtney, he told me. That he Fisher love me for that. They say Skip, you the first nigga said Fisher Project on BT. Facts. <laughs> they yeah. love me for that. Facts. No, and I, like, I never knew what that line was about. Yeah. And, and after I interviewed you, that's when I ended up finding out that you was that you grew up Fish. in the Fisher and, and shit. Like I, I would have never fucking thought that shit. Oh, I was Solomon real now. I grew up in the fish. Man, though, what you gotta do, what you what you think about like these young artists? Like you see Rifle Nine, you see the Nino Calvins, like I just hope nothing turn out gay. Watch out yourself, man. I be liking you niggas and shit, y'all be turned out and one of the boy boys old man, I'll be like, man, I like that nigga nigga fell on my content. I don't think you got that to worry about out of this group. I you hope not. Me? Not this Them group. punks be claiming niggas, but they gotta be fucking with some niggas. The, the game that fucked up? It's, man, the game be fucked up. Y'all to watch these niggas, man. Y'all to watch these niggas. I be on Keith Carroll's show watching that he shit. He always that busts shit. out a new nigga. <laughs> <laughs> Y'all talking about He always busts out a new nigga. I don't watch the show. Oh, shit. Man, he, I don't watch it, but I know he be busting niggas out. <laughs> I won't like all you niggas, but nigga! <laughs> I don't know if y'all spots hot like that. Oh, no. No. You, you, you ever thought about signing all this? Nah, I wasn't, nigga. I wasn't really. I went, I rapped for the money. I told you that. I was used to battle niggas in the House of Blues for a little couple of $20, $30. Oh, wait. Because I'm a cold. Wait, 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 wait. That's, what, that's, that's the thing I wanted to tell you. I'm cold. Because this some shit. We, nigga can't rap. How you view people, right? Mm -hmm. Courtney. He been in the in the in the rap world, fucking with Joe Black and all that. Joe Black like one of them trill motherfuckers, right? So he knew you through Joe Black, right? So what happened was he told me this story. He said that he used to try to rap. He said till he heard you rap. I call, I call nigga whacking that. I call him whack. He said no. He said he heard you rap. He said skip rap. It made me stop rapping. You did. And I said skip like. Skip not that like Skip was like he said though Skip was like yeah, I got both. I Skip was got like both. that nigga like like in the streets mm -hmm. in the streets like his his name was buzzing all that type of shit like you yeah, was that I'm nigga sure. I said Skip I'm talking about my fucking Man, I got niggas right now that told me Skip why I don't rap you got the rap who I'm school from what I'm gonna do what you mean rap what the fuck I'm gonna do nigga what you mean get it what the fuck is wrong with you nigga. Everybody go to jail, nigga. I gotta try something else, nigga. I just come on, bitch. I gotta leave try. I can rap, bitch. You gotta try. Y'all just want me to do drugs all my fucking life. He do drugs all my fucking life, my nigga. Yeah, that shit. When I was in that bitch, bad nigga, I was the blues. I didn't let nigga. Uh, I let. I tell nigga we can bet a hundred, and we gonna let your niggas judge. Wow. So it ain't gonna be no discrepancy when you lose. <laughs> your homie gonna be telling you why y'all going home. You nigga whoop your head, my nigga. <laughs> <laughs> That's how I know I'm cool, bitch. I put my money up. We gonna let your partner judge, bitch. Fuck it. I know they gonna try to give you the benefit of the doubt. You think they got an edge on them rappers? Fuck no. So, hope still because you, because you still be dropping shit. Yeah, I be dropping shit for the niggas that love skip shit. I just drop a new one right now. Uptown, downtown, folk. Right. Spotify, Apple Pay. You just that's the. Uh... Me and Black and Mile on Black the beat. Mile. Yeah, Black on the beat. I got Dizzy on that. I got Buku young niggas on that bitch. Black and Mile. Black and Mile. Why? Like Beyonce always go for like, you know he on that fucking Beyonce shit. That shit fucked me up. 
free, I already know free to go, black free, to go, free to go shit, tap man. into all that. You heard me? Well, black came my own way. I had to respect that. I black. know, dog. Like, man, I dog, remember black. people going to pick black up. He had no ride. They bring him to the studio. Black men in the studio all day making beats for a nigga. $100 dollars beat, $20 dollars beat. In the air recorder. That man was in that bit really fuzz crap. Grinding like a motherfucker. He ain't not a dead. Four fucking six labels a day. Hundred dollars beat, and I recall these nigga engineered it all, trying to help them with their shit. Now, when it comes down to for certain beats, and you want that New Orleans sound, that's gonna be the nigga to go to, cause he didn't put that work in. That's how you, that's how you got them drinks. Yeah, see, man. nigga want the drink, want that New Orleans sound, and say who to go to, and say go to Black. <coughs> he did the more with Drake, the number one song in the country. Absolutely. There's only a handful of niggas that's that go to nigga when it comes to beats. That nigga go. Cool. I've been there. I'm on four. Uptown, downtown, folk. All four I'm produced by Black and Mile every beat. All four albums. How I feel been so successful in, in like the chicken business. And like even not even with the daiquiri, like just business in general in New Orleans, like how I feel to be like I don't know what to say there. I don't like saying fuck I uh, you got that coke, how I feel to sell out. Yeah, nigga, like yeah, how I, I feel. I had to sell the coke. Everybody ain't selling out no, though. I had this to sell the whole thing. Though. This is the whole thing. To 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 be on top is one thing, right? To be consistent is another thing. Yeah. So that's why I'm asking you, like, like how I feel to be consistent amongst everybody. Like, I just be thinking, I be thinking the people for the support. Right. The nigga might don't support you, then you couldn't be consistent. Right. I really be thinking the people. Thank y'all for supporting me. Why I just try to keep it real to people because they be that's what holding me down. Right. That's what come and support me. That's why I try to give it to him real. Whenever you ask me, man, I come through and do all that shit, man, because I know support. Go along with him and support me. That's how I'm, where I'm at. Right. So I try to support everybody else, get that same fucking love back to the fucking people and just keep it real with them. I don't be lying. Though. I try to tell them what I know, try to tell them the truth, because if they support me, I'm going to support them too. Because you got an iconic you got an iconic business. You have an iconic spot on Claiborne. You know what I'm saying? So, like, that's why, I, and, and you so fucking regular. Like, you... Like, you know what I'm saying? Like, he like, well, that's he right. never, I he never still, seen none of this still, shit get to this nigga head ever. Like, he yeah. always been the same nigga. I've been the same from the jump. Yeah, yeah the so that's why I always, I, like, like, I always wanted to ask you, like, how I, be, I really feel. I be because, watching nigga lose their mind when they get a little fame, too, and go to act and stop it, like, I'm up there, no, 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 I don't know, I don't, I, I, I probably came, I came from the bottom. See, for me being the last on the total on the bottom, always watching everybody up. And when I get a chance, I would I just they act stop it. I was like I was always the youngest out of my family, so I got looked down on. And I ain't never had nothing. So I was coming from the bottom bottom, nigga. So nigga get up, nigga ain't got time. I ain't give a fuck about rubbing no nigga face, nigga. I used to see why nigga rubbing my face, I ain't like that. Right. Right. <laughs> niggas had I ain't had and I hate that shit. Right. Uh, so I wouldn't do that to nobody, nigga. Right. Yeah. Right. And and and, and you always make a way for everybody yeah. I ain't have nigga. I ain't I told I was in the fish, nigga. <laughs> no, no, it was BTY, like... Nigga, we had a three-bedroom with only one bed, nigga. Three-bedroom with one bed? Yeah, my mom had that bed. Damn. Where y'all stuck? I was on the sofa. I was on the sofa, I had a pallet. Wait, y'all stayed in the fishing when they had the bricks? Yeah! The bricks the three, yeah! All right, all right, all right. That's, that's when everybody used to run for the hurricane. Yeah! Run to the fucking when road. they were shooting out in that bed back and forth across the Kobe. Yeah, I don't know <laughs> shit about across the road back then. Oh, shit. Now, before they made the fucking way where the police can get to the back, they have it the one street. Police ain't come back there. What, what we gonna do about. You think voting change shit, bro? Fuck no. So you could be lying and everything. You might can do it locally. You might get, Locally, you can affect it. Right. Because locally, ain't that many votes. And, and we Locally, and we these like, elections be like 10,000 people might show up. And we 80% really black. Fuck man. why we can't get the fuck your vote. we ain't showing up. If we really yeah, can get a committee of niggas like we go to the concert, nigga the concert, so the concert out 2,000 people. No problem. When you get one of them rappers they like. All through the year, you did 30, 40 concerts, them like votes like a motherfucker. Mm -hmm. If you got two to 4,000 votes in any one of these elections, you will change that fucking election. You think you ever get into politics? No. All my dirt coming out. <laughs> but but the pot all the politicians be dirty. Like they got politicians that smoke crack and shit. Like they don't give a fuck when you're a politician. You can do what you fuck. Like that shit don't matter all when you're a politician. I do right. But I it would. don't matter. I just need to be on the politics committee to tell them what was what, right to do. Right. Because I think you'll be a fire politician because when a politician 
it don't matter what you do. Like, like your past don't really matter when you're a politician because once the people like you, they just like you. All the rest of that shit don't matter. But it's all the politicians fucked up. Don't like, like Bill Clinton was snorting coke off with stripper titties and shit. And motherfuckers like, man, we like that nigga, man. Nigga come play a saxophone. Motherfuckers like him. Nigga like get him. None of that Listen, shit. Listen, hear me out. I'm a real nigga. I'm right. going to keep it real with you. Fuck it. I'm going to keep it 100% real with you. Right. I never sell a peep out for no lip. 100 dollars 200 dollars That's what I'm saying. You'll be a fire politician. But like 10 million? <laughs> Go for y'all. <laughs> <laughs> I ain't never had to say it. Stop it. So I won't be there. Don't put that interpretation on me. <laughs> and that's politics. To me? Yeah, it's a change. <laughs> Should change with like, 10 million. Damn, though. skip change. <laughs> Me. I know I was the first guy I would lead the hood when I got my money I was out. Oh. Duh. Man. Duh. Little two three hundred in my but ten million, ten million change any nigga, man. Don't try to tell me to go up there skip. I know you're righteous, and they put ten million in my face. Ah! Thank you. Ah, Lord, please don't do it below me. Give me strength. <laughs> and let's hold you down for a minute. Whoa. Whoa. Oh, no, no one put that on nobody. Look, you think, because just just back on community shit. You think the fucking games got something to do with the way these fucking children shooting up in the city and they, doing all this? Listen, shit? they only learn the car jack from Grand Theft Auto. When somebody gonna say this? How did they learn the car jack? Well, y'all was caught jacking without. But it was not them. like that. But dude, they only jack now like Grand Theft Auto. <laughs> they jacking them bitches like, like Grand Theft right Auto, now. my nigga. They learned that from Grand Theft Auto. When does Grand Theft Auto get the lawsuit? They're not. They didn't tell these people. You Grand Theft Auto, they just picking up hookers, car jacking. And you gonna go on shelf? That bitch like Grand Theft Auto. Auto. Thing. <laughs> you can steal a car, pick up a stripper. Oh, man. Rob somebody else. You seen what the little 15 year old boy did to the little, uh, the little girl? Man. Same shit. Wow, dog. I've been boxes. saying Grand Theft Auto is playing for a lot of this shit. I didn't let mine play until they got of age, but fuck, what age is that? I didn't understand what they were doing before it was too late when they were playing. I ain't, it was ahead of me in the game. Oh, they fucked my kid up. I ain't, they, you already fucked up now. Right, yeah. Right. Uh, uh, Grand Theft Auto and Call of Duty. I ain't let them play that to their Oh, Call of Duty. Call of Duty. Call of Duty. Call of Duty. This niggas ain't never knew about this many guns ever. Yeah, they knew about These niggas know. Oh, that's the semi smell with da da da. <laughs> Oh, they know man. The attachments on man, that these niggas got so much gun knowledge over Grand Theft Auto is a shame. Oh, this is oppressive. Bitch, you can't express oppressive. And you got kids who, who like, if, if you look at if you look at the research, they say that children, um, teenagers are more likely to to, to be risk to uh, take risky behavior. You know what I'm saying? Like they more they more likely to take chances with their life that that older people wouldn't because of how their brain develop. And now you push all this type of shit on people like us. Like I told you, you know, all this is a real community that you could try shit on if the shit work here. And it work it. And this bitch, <laughs> this bitch, you see how the murder rate? Like, imagine what... How would that be, know that? They about to try to live, uh, no, drive this up, cause him and everything first. They, they know all that shit. And I was watching The Purge. We didn't all seen The Purge. But the more I watch that shit, I'd be like, man, I feel this shit coming. That last one was uh, the Forever Purge. You yeah. saw him? Yeah. It didn't, it didn't stop. It didn't, it didn't stop. <laughs> oh, I said, oh, yeah. It didn't stop. And right now. They don't want no Purge, when, man. When you live in New Orleans East, that shit different. Because certain shit you can't do. Like, you might want cigars. As bad as you want cigars at 2 o'clock in the morning. You know you take it out. Fucking <laughs> Oh man, last night I'm on board. I'm on board, motherfucker. I didn't call. I was on Martin Luther King. I called. All I wanted, two eggs old hard, hash browns, no meat, toast. All right, it'll be ready in five minutes. I ordered that bitch off. Martin Luther King. I get off on Bullet. You know they got you going to the window. The dog and shit right there. I already don't want to get out. I done jumped out. It then been about 15 minutes. She's like, oh, uh, boom, get out. She look, oh, that's Skip. Bitch, I told you that on the phone. It was Skip. <laughs> boom. Here go the money. I still got to wait 15 minutes. No. I say, bitch, you just say I'm a Skip. Who will be out here to dog facts, bitch? I didn't even, bitch, the, the food don't take that long. Right. The one but eggs and hash brown, bitch. Ain't nobody else in the parking lot. <laughs> the fuck y'all was doing? 
though. You risking my life, though. Behind the eggs, yeah. Yeah, though. Like, like they ain't gonna do me nothing, though. I yeah. can see them niggas. I jump out like fuck it. I got the bands, convertible top off. I jump out that bitch. I ain't got no pistol. I got nigga. What? This kid? Yeah, how y'all know? <laughs> Oh, look at Skip. What's up? You want a picture? <laughs> Boy, y'all do me something. They're going to kill everything, nigga. I'm telling you. <laughs> telling you right now, I got some niggas that love me, nigga. They're going to kill all the roaches uh, at your house. Uh, why? But in New Orleans, you have to have that type of life. You have to be dual. You have to, you, you, yeah. you got to be a good person. You got to be able to, you know what I'm saying, speak nice to help the old ladies. Yeah. But you Still also like have to street. have people around you that's they willing to make bullshit. something shake. Yeah. Because of how the how shit uh, is in the New city. Orleans. This New Orleans, they thinking we got dry. But that's how I've been, nigga. I had to come up rough. I thought I come up rough. Right. I done burnt babies, bitch. I'm gonna fuck about your kid. I just gotta get forgiven later. Fuck it. I, I nigga, I'm going to hell. <laughs> I ain't fucked up. I know I'm going to hell in the VIP line, nigga. I'm going to be in there. Y'all can pass. I'm going to walk past y'all regular centers. Well, I could up by down there. I'm not even tripped out. I ain't fucked up. I'm trying to chill now, nah, though. Nah, I'm but chilling now. Nah. Life give you repentance. You hear me? I hope so. is all about. You hear me? For, and you know what I'm saying? Like, you learning. You you getting older. You hear me? Like, you you been through the fuck shit. You did. Yeah. You survived it. Everybody didn't. You did. So... That's giving you a chance to repent because you repent every every time. I, I, I see what I see how you carry yourself. That means a whole lot. I'm trying to pay back for the right. bullshit I did early. <laughs> because you know better now. You grew up in a toxic well, that's, environment. That's part of growing yeah, up. Part of growing. Wiser, you I did. tell a nigga if, if uh, a tree don't grow, it's dead. Right. So if you don't grow, you dead. No, Yo, you growing up uptown. That's different, bro. Like and to survive and be old, like. No, that shit different. Yeah, everybody made man. it past the port. Man, man. I ain't dog gonna make it. A couple of years, I ain't dog gonna make it. I ain't gonna make it that far. I'm out a wild out right now. I ain't gonna make it past 25. Fuck out. Fuck me now. I'm out you. Nigga, made it past 25. Look, I said, I ain't dog. I'm out. Nigga, I didn't want. This one of them years, too. I'm gonna make it past this year because this bit rough. Who do you think the coldest rapper to come out this year? Me! Beside you. I got Weezy. Weezy be beating the bitch up after that. Weezy? Weezy, he be serious about it. What do you think Juvenile fall on that? Like, he got to give me some more of that Juvenile. I don't know what he be doing. He got to give me some more. I'm waiting for that I'm Juvenile. I'm just waiting. I'm just talking about, like, based on what he did, like, his already caliber of work. Like, where you think that fall, like, in the oh, high he, he, Oh, he, been, he had one or two in the catalog of work. Right. He had one or yeah, two because, in the catalog of work. Yeah, because he, he, a lot of people don't know. Juvenile and go way, way, way back. Man, he was man, writing Jimmy albums. And shit, man. He, I heard he wrote albums. He wrote a lot of that. Hey, all that DJ Jimmy shit. They go back. Way with Mellow Fellow now. Mellow Fellow. But I didn't know he was right. He was a writer. That nigga was in music way back then. Nigga, I was selling drugs back then. Nigga, I think was doing. You knew music. him then? No, oh, I ain't know him then. Oh, all right, you you met him later on. Yeah, I when I had to come home and start rapping. Stop doing them drugs. Right. right. I was a drugger. Yeah, but you know the rappers. I thought the rappers used to be outside. Say, so I used to end up intermingling. Well, I nigga, at first, nigga looked down at rappers in New Orleans. He was what? a rapper. Yeah, nigga looked down at oh, rapper ass nigga. Stupid ass nigga. Cause even in gangster, in, in, in a gangster rap, he was hitting down here. Like he nigga ain't start liking rappers in New Orleans until like Cash rappers. Money made it. Right. And two thousand, that one nigga was kind of cool to be a rapper then. Ninety nine, ninety eight. Other than that, nigga wasn't cool to be a rapper. Nigga laughed, but more than even like rappers. Well, he's a rapper. Yeah. Uh, rap up in the boys to play with you every day. Right. <laughs> wow. Yeah. That dynamic changed a lot. Yeah, it changed a lot. <laughs> that's why they not a rapper. That's why they had less rap. I might take your bitch if you ain't a rapper. If you ain't a rapper now. <laughs> yeah, it's money started this shit. Yeah, it made it cool to be a rapper. Rappers shit. start getting money. Rappers wasn't getting money at first. Right. And drug dealer nigga shitting on a rapper. You rap for a nigga, but I got the biz and the bitch. But think about this transition. Cash Money also the ones that bought Gangsta Bounce to the team. Nah. Oh, you don't think so? Pimp Daddy had been Gangsta Bounce. Wait. Pimp Daddy. Wait. All right. Tell him out. Pimp Daddy didn't come out before PMW, right? No, probably PMW was out a minute. PMW was like a Gangsta Bounce. Yeah, group. but Pimp Daddy yeah, had been doing Gangsta Bounce. A lot of people stole that Pimp Daddy shit, man. Wait. So Pimp Daddy. Pimp that wasn't BMW? I don't remember. I don't know. No, I know PMW was the group that Baby had signed. It was kind of like a gangster bouncer. Then UNLV was kind of like a gangster bouncer. But they had gangster bouncer where Baby started signing groups. 
Right, all right, all right, all right. That's yeah, why. Yeah, that's why they had Magnolia Slim. But he put the Slim stamp on that. On that and Soldier Slim. Magnolia right. Slim was doing that rapping and shit before now. They had like a whole rap. They had a rap world. And some of them transcended into getting deals. Like you had Big Deucey, Soldier Slim, Juvie used to rap in the club. You had nothing like Dauphine and uh, what the fuck is that? Like about seven or more other rappers. They, wasn't really, they had a song that they'd come to the club and do. Right. You know, they performing that at 49. And he'll be performing this at Dito. They're going to be at Newton's. Yeah, but then rap start popping and they start getting labels and some of them got signed. Like Jewel got signed, Told You Slim got signed. That was like the rappers that got signed from doing their fucking thing. But Pip, but uh, Pip Dad and them was already killing. They was that big man. All right. And you That's right by you. I couldn't even get into that spot. <laughs> but Pip Daddy, you know Pip Daddy never performed and killed that bitch. Right. But he had the gangs to bounce. Mm -hmm. But all that, but before all that, with the fucking uh, that's how the club got popping. They had my act. That's why Ghost Tower popping. They had TT Tucker. Right. And DJ Irv at Ghost Tower. Right. right. That was gonna hit him back. Down that act at that. Yeah. At that you gonna go hit him at Ghost Tower. You gonna hit Pip Daddy at Big Man. Oh, that's fine. You gonna hit Soldier Slim at Four Forty Nine. That's why a nigga went to different clubs. Right. You know about 12-1, they going to get the mic, it's going down. Right. So it's slimming here. Deucey going to be a deep too. Iggy, Iggy, Yaki, yo, killer that bitch. Iggy, Iggy, Yaki, yo, I don't know what the fuck this bitch saying, <laughs> but the crowd love it. <laughs> it's popping. <laughs> and then Charlie was singing back then in the club. I ain't going to eat But that, that's how they probably baby start sounding, because you know they was in the club rocking that bitch. Right. Right, right, right. So, so they was already rock doing that in the street. Yeah. But that's why I felt like he kind of put that stamp on it because a lot of it was, you had a lot of party bounce going on. And, you know, like you had the. the but the then you original. had that made so long because, like, I don't remember too much of Paul and Crime in the club rocking a bit like that. But they'll get in the, in the studio with Big Boy and come out with them fucking hits. With the hits. Mm -hmm. well, well, Partners in Crime, I think they said they, they started out at Gone Shoes. See, they were doing, but they weren't doing club. Right, all right, all right. They were performing in front of the club like when we, we were clubbing. They didn't perform. Right, but, right. But but they 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 they, they song will play. They'll play this song. They should pop. They, they got the, the DJ song played that bitch. The yeah. That, that, that. Oh, no. How? And they caught that radio era too. How do how how do how do all this dead talent to get slept on, bro? It be all kind of things in the game. I think they got fucked up with the money thing too. At the time, the, the nigga had just cash money and no limit had just blew up. Right. Q93. Right. And the radio nigga was like, man, I ain't blowing up another label here and they ain't gonna break me off. And they was next to Blue, so he was trying like to charge them out the ass. Y'all gonna pay me. I played them last nigga, they blew up. They ain't pay me. Played them other nigga, they played, they blew up, they ain't pay me. Y'all gonna pay me. Right. Mm -hmm. I ain't paying. I, would do, I think they have something outrageous. They uh, nigga wanted a piece of the label. That's how crazy this is that guy. I want a percentage y'all label to play it. Y'all should have shot that thing. <laughs> Bitch, what? You want to play games? Game. Duh. I see. All right, yeah. Where I bring it to? Oh, them dudes. Bust them your fucking heads. Head. Them dudes still drop like them dudes still yeah. drop good fucking music and, and they, they they could they could they could link with any artist and make a hit whenever the fuck they want bang. to, dog. Whenever they want to. And me to help me on this hit project on the uptown downtown. Oh, Mina, Mina, one of them other ones that I met while working at um working at your shop. I met Juvie, built that relationship. Met Mina, built that relationship lasted like for the lifetime. You know what I'm saying? So yeah. like I built a lot of relationships just working at your shop. You know what I'm saying? And coming along with way, though, through. like you know they were coming through just showing love. They used to come through the car walls like that. No, see. You really could build a whole community center. Like you, like I know you busy doing business and shit, but you really got the brain, and you ain't scared to say the shit. You really could step into that fucking world. And, but and I ain't the role model. You don't want the fucking kid around me. I ain't shit. That's the that that be the best motherfucker. You just look at Trump. <laughs> nigga ain't shit. But sometimes you need a nigga that's gonna be able because you gotta be qualified to tell the truth. Certain troops you gotta be qualified oh, to speak on. Truth. You hear me? Yeah. And, and certain people can't speak on certain shit because they ain't qualified to speak on the shit. I call my show so for my own bullshit. See, and it, though, I'm telling you, though, skip your bullshit. I'm telling you, skip. I know that's something that you heard probably don't fuck with, 
But being in the business that you in, I'm surprised that you've been, you take shots at the mill, you take shots at radio stations, and you still, you, you It don't you really still. be taking shots, I just was saying what the fuck I felt at that time, and I was standing there, I really melted. Right. Yeah, because, man, that bitch be tripping. Yeah, I'm holding my tongue on the mail right now so she don't fuck with my business. <laughs> <laughs> That's a smart thing to do. Because <laughs> she kind, she that kind. But. They was fucking with Kermit hard. But why you think. She could, they could do Kermit nothing. I don't know what Kermit do. Kermit said, fuck them in Corona. I love Kermit. <laughs> They'll come and close Kermit. Kermit open that week. But fuck y'all. Kermit's still over right now. Fuck y'all. <laughs> Kermit my role model. Man, fuck y'all. Y'all stupid ass, stupid ass shit. But why you think, why? Because look, people like y'all shouldn't be at odds with leadership at all. Like, never. Like, y'all y'all should be included Man. in leadership because y'all tapped in with the kids. I just told you she had a whole kid program. I was in the kid program taking the kids in to help the program work. Right. They used my fucking model as the shop as the shop as the fucking model for the whole project as they wrote it up. We were successful here, they did this and all that. And this bitch still go hard on me. So the user, the the user. Oh, we gotta we gotta get we gotta have a union somehow or something. Like, rap need a union. We that what I be telling my rappers. See, rappers is don't understand what they doing. Y'all keep getting fucked up and fucked up there because y'all have a union. Baseball, football, basketball got unions. That's why them dudes get help. The people who should be giving into the union is got people that had got beat on deals before. Mm -hmm. like that band before, like Jay Z, Kendrick Lamar, uh, Kanye. Y'all should put in a fund to have lawyers in the union for all new niggas that's getting signed to new labels to make sure they don't get raped. Mm -hmm. Have the union rep come to them, sign the union, y'all give back to the union, and make sure no more black kids get raped by the system. Y'all is crazy. Y'all just let every kid still get raped. He got finally got signed. Y'all know they gonna beat him out of publishing and beat him out this and beat him out that. Ain't nobody gonna say fucking no. We started tired of the kid getting fucked over. Well, nobody care. That's what I be mad about. I know I can't be the only one that care. The only one even thought this fucking high. Y'all done thought this high before. So I mean, y'all don't give a fuck. Mm -hmm. Honestly, if y'all ain't trying to do nothing, this is gonna cut somebody else's money. I be like, man, once y'all see it, why we ain't doing it about? If that's the problem, man, every new artist that gets signed, like Rob Fonai just got signed. But you know what, the fucking rap deal is a fuck deal from the jump. They fucking everybody. So why are we going to do something about it? When you get signed in the NBA, you don't get no fuck deal. Why? Because they got a union. Got a union. They ain't going to let them get fucked. I said last week, last week I spoke, I said, uh, and, and. About the musician. Yeah, I said, any. Any trade that don't have a union, you're a slave to that trade. You're going to die. And the whole rap game ain't got no union. To it. You're a slave to it because you ain't going to never get what you're supposed to get out of it because you're not they, unionized. They got to give it to you. You're right. You don't know the ask for. You're new to this. Cooks cooks in New Orleans the same way. Like, if all the cooks came together and said, we ain't going to work, you know how much fucking money this fucking gonna, place lose? They're going to shut down. Look, we don't even need all the cooks. Just all the saute cooks. Just all the down. fried niggas. Just come together and just be like, bitch, we ain't frying no chicken. We got a fried nigga here. <laughs> you take the cooks and you take the musicians and this bitch hit. Hit? You don't want this billion dollars that they're getting down to? Man, I got a book called The Rob Report. That's the rich nigga book. Right. I get The Rob Report. The Rob Report, they had the best of best edition. They were talking about Maldives, who like the best vacation place. They had like the best fucking sports car, Ferrari and shit. They had the best United States hotel city. City hotel. That bitch was the Four Seasons in New Orleans, the one they just remodeled. So I read the fucking article, and I read down the article. They said, if this Four Seasons, you could order your own streetcar ride and your own jazz club. You could order a fucking jazz club in New Orleans? How many how, niggas for sale to that extent? Oh, look, fuck, you want to go out tonight, baby? This club, we're going to order the whole club. They're going to give us somebody to play in that bitch and everything. Uh, Acting and all, nigga. And this bitch made the best hotel because of this. <laughs> On the order, they selling niggas. Nigga. Yeah. I guarantee the musicians ain't getting hit. And they know, if they got fucking, uh, they, that's what they're going to tell the nigga in the hotel where they're going to cost you 7000 They're going to call the club, they're going to open for 1500 for them. Right. They're going to call the band, get them another 15 2 g The band coming out for 2 g Right. So y'all two down? We'll play our ass over the business. Right. They're going to hit 3500 for the pop and the hotel going to be 3500 even it's dogs. Niggas is for sale. Mm -hmm. Nigga. And this the main city that they do it in. Nigga. Like, this city right here, dog, because we all natives. All of us, like, all the men know how to cook. 
That's how you able to open a chicken yeah. shop. You gotta yeah, know yeah. how to cook. All the men here know how to cook. So musicians, all that shit. No, we gotta come. We we gotta like. They got. Uh, if you stick together, you can stick them. But then you have business owners like you, right? Well, you still got to do business. You got to plan time. it right, though. You got to set up a Mardi Gras. Right. And the week for Mardi Gras, tell them, fuck them. When they plan on making their money. Right. You can't right. do it in spring when nothing ain't popping. Right. Right, because they ain't really worried about essence like that. Yeah. <laughs> the week, the, the week for Mardi Gras, bitch, we striking. Yeah. Some places closed down, especially downtown for essence. I want to strike on brothers' ass. I ain't had, like, brothers making What's up with brothers? They make all that money up. I don't even like them. Big word for brothers is I keep. So I think they playing with us for one. Right. I wanted to call them niggas. Right. Watching all this shit. Then they don't give back to the black community. All the dollars they got the black community, how y'all ain't buying books, school uniforms, a, a pop... Football uniform, the nut, y'all get back, nut, y'all get a lot of black dollars. We'll put a strike on them and say, look, for February, no brothers, we going to shell somewhere else. And show them, bitch, we'll stop spending with y'all for a month, and we'll fuck y'all whole shit up. Yeah. What y'all giving to us? Tell you the truth, if we just did that just in all this East. And tell, no, we do that to brothers first. Right. And tell shell y'all next. Yeah. That's what, that, that we, now we got power. We dictate our buying, we use our buying power against them then. That's After cool. they see brothers a month, well, fuck, man, you got to get fired. If a month of money don't come through on something that big, they got to fire you. 25, 15 percent of their fucking staff. Yeah, little, you know them, you they know them girls? They tried that shit with Rouses. They tried this shit. They, with, they, they boycott nah, Rouses. Nah, they did. They you know, said it. It's two days later. They boy, We really could say, fuck brothers and go to another gas station because they never gas station. Right. Right. We ain't gotta go to Brother. We go to fucking Shell. They said the same thing too, because they copy their shit. We go to Shell. What, what we really. But the, then what we show is power. To, if Brother's to, money got fucked up, then we tell Shell, bitch, y'all next. But look, the, to make that work, you would have to, like, have some type of partnership with a different gas station. No, you know. All you gotta do is have a couple of people. It might take about 100, 200 people. You have three, four people at every fucking Brother's with the sign. We boycott. We boy, don't come here, we boycott. Don't come here, we boycott. And they remind a nigga, oh no, we ain't gonna pull up that boycott. I still don't go to read seafood. And you're a killer bitch. I still don't go to read seafood. Them bitches still, I don't go there, son. I don't fuck around. Like, I don't, them bitches, once, once the little racial thing happened with The nigga them. might think of going and forget they boycott when they pull up and see a nigga with the sign. <laughs> oh, I forgot we boycott and then we go cross mm -hmm. the chair. And some people still, fuck them up. The, the women was out there boycotting read seafood. People still going buy seafood. They're walking right it's past the ass going buy seafood. The, 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 the message wasn't loud enough. Right. You know, Why they were the boycotting? Because they, they, they the, had the, the reason. The though. old man, the old man kind of he he be saying shit. He be saying nigga and all that type of shit. They ain't video. I don't think they video. See, they ain't gotta catch him. But right. a lot of people. Up. But but see the the thing is, oh. even though he do do that, he fuck with a lot of niggas too. So like the DVD man and shit, let him be out there and don't you know, and let him do his thing. Like he he you he he fuck with a lot of the niggas that be around there. So if he called one nigga a nigga, so you the gotta niggas catch him on tape and you gotta explain it. <laughs> no, and, and it's not to get them people a, a, part, a pass or nothing, but you know a lot of black folks they go in that bitch beating reckless to the people, and we done seen them many a time. Yeah, they shit on. <laughs> they shit on them, and then eventually, you gotta take that. eventually, y'all gotta take that. You gotta take that. Yeah. Fuck that. Taking my dollars. You're in our community. First of all, you're not. You're not. White people talk shit to each other. Shit, and the uh, and the show would just be quiet. Yup. Cause he getting paid. Yup. Y'all getting paid. Be quiet. Y'all taking from our community. And I don't like when they be putting the fucking get back. pictures. They be putting the fucking people pictures who stole. Or they stole something, bitch, that's on y'all. He putting these, all these fucking black people fucking pictures you. up. Right, I ain't give a fuck. I, I, I wish nigga still be every fucking day. <laughs> <laughs> I'm glad he got away. Man. Who not on the wall? <laughs> Next. <laughs> y'all really help <laughs> <laughs> you know, really helping a nigga. That shit blow me. So you got the gas station. You got the gas station on Crowder. Now Crowder used to be my favorite place to go because you got the little You got the the, the uh, hip hop shop. You got Pizza Hut across the street. You you know you got a lot of options of gas I, I, I and, and shit like that. Nah, yeah. it's nah, it's yeah. like. That bitch is going crazy. You can't even stop and get gas on Crowder. I go to Pizza in the daytime. <laughs> Catch that bitch before the sundown. Before the sundown. <laughs> no. No. We, I know, 
I get my gas on Bullet by, by the Chevron, because that's my meat. Across the street. From the Hollywood, that's my meat son got the store now, because they family understood about giving business. How did East change so much? You was, you, you was, I've been I've been East about 15 know, years. That's what I'm saying. You you were able to, how it changed? How you think it changed so much? Because the, 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 cause the crack is going for Uptown. <laughs> The crack is going for Uptown, so they're outpricing Uptown, so they got to push everybody who can afford Uptown to the east. And that's been the plan. And I fucked around and still got big out of it. I'm like, oh, that's cool. Get out the hood right quick. No, oh, I'm in the east. I'm in the east. But now the whole housing market then went crazy. But all the houses in the east going for almost double the price that they was going all for. All houses going for double. Yeah, but imagine what they All houses, period. The whole market. My grandma bought her house in Holly Grove in 74 for $12,000. The house next to us just got built last year, and they sent it for three hundred and fifty thousand dollars, nigga. Yeah. She said, "I don't know what they're gonna say about my taxes, but we gonna be fussing." God damn. Yeah. Three hundred fifty on Olive Street. So, so what? What that means is to to people that's watching, you you, you might shit. that 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 might be a good thing, right? But what happened was she can't afford no taxes that much. And that's what I'm trying to let people understand. This happened to the people on Franklin. Franklin was a neighborhood of black prominent people. Yeah. So when the hurricane hit, they 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 deemed all that on Franklin historical New Orleans and they fucking um and the property up. value went up. So now the people that's on Texas. Franklin, they can't afford to live in the house, so they, they gotta rent it out on taxes. section eight. Cause they can't they either trying to sell it or they rent it out on section eight to pay the taxes. To pay the taxes. Because the house is so fucking and put the bitch in line. Right. So now they selling their houses and out. shit because they can't afford the taxes. Right to the nigga out. My grandma like, bitch, I've been there since the 70s. They bet not. They should have a way that if you own, been owning that house for... That uh, fuck alone. Like, you you grandma in where, well, you know what I'm saying? Like, I don't care what the, the house next door sell for. Right. And Especially when it comes to what taxes you pay on the value of a house wow. that went up without you asking that bitch to go. <laughs> because we don't have the black banks, that shit ain't gonna happen. Man, it ain't meant Bank for niggas to make it in America. I don't like America. It's straight up. Fuck it. Y'all know why. Slavery. All kinds of shit y'all did niggas in America. I don't trust America. That's the reason why we like. Ain't even no reason why I should have to explain why I don't trust America. Like, this shit ain't been documented. Did you think it's default? Fuck the right. Yeah. Wow. They put their foot on nigga back. They give you less education. All this shit on purpose. They're not supposed to. They ain't supposed to get They did an enemy. We ain't friends. That's what I'm trying to say. We can't expect our enemies to have some. Yeah, but don't act like we are friends, but they act like we together. But that's what they do. You're supposed to do to your enemy. It's I, I I blame more us for trusting our enemies and and laying in bed with our enemies than our enemies acting like they our friends because they say keep your enemies close. You did. <laughs> we close. <laughs> right. They every time we move, they move. They used to move out. One black person move in, motherfuckers be moving out. You see u hauls pulling out. Now, these motherfuckers snuggling in every ghetto in America and Come making it home. Come making it home. Making it home. Teaching our children. Because they understand the breakers was integration. I think if we would have <coughs> uh, they integrated us. Yeah. If we would have stayed separate, we would have killed them. That's why they're killing the projects. Yeah. They, 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 we thought the projects was bad, but what the projects did was brought black people together. Either for a good purpose or a bad purpose, but the gangs got together in the projects and got strong as a motherfucker. Yo. And now they was in the house with themselves and intertwined with themselves and built stronger. But when you integrate that and separate them and they can't have them gangs that had that strength, and they not that strong no more. Right. They right. can they can conquer them easily. Right. Right, right. That project projects even in, in New Orleans projects are like fraternities. You got like yeah. They <laughs> got like that. Fraternities. Yeah. You got see <laughs> like you out the you out the Magnolia, you out the Cali, you yeah. out the same but yeah. like, that's a fraternity like, that's a stamp, like you know what I'm yeah, saying? Yeah, that that made unity. Right. They, they don't unite a nigga. Right, right. It right. might have got united for the wrong reason, but the blood of the crib got united for the wrong reason, but look at what he had now. Mm-hmm. From evolution. This niggas got LLCs and everything now with them fucking bloods and crypt. Them niggas real business. I would love to see the on, on that because we we we, we hit it. We needed more time. They didn't broke the project. We needed more years right. to develop to get smaller like that. We were right. still young in the game. Definitely. That was the education coming at. We were gonna probably be KI for a minute, but they kept the projects. And over the years and over the time, they would have got smaller. They'd have got organized. That would have been a threat. The threat is this fucking small nigga. Right. America is scared of the small nigga. Educated nigga. The educated nigga. Right. An educated nigga with money. 
It was more dangerous than the American. Because he's the enemy and he got resources. And he knows the enemy now. And he's going to put his people on. Yeah. I know my enemy. Bro. I know who I'm fighting every motherfucking day. Bro. People ain't on my fucking side. Tell me this. This is something I want to know. What's your favorite movie, bro? Movie? Yeah. <laughs> Star Wars. Star Wars? Really? Yeah, I want to be an astronaut. I want to be a pilot. I want to be an astronaut. Star Wars? I'm a Star Wars man. I hate Star Wars. What's your favorite Star Wars? All of the trilogy. No, no, it's like, 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 if you just, if the one you can watch all, all over and over and over. I, the the uh, dog mall, the nigga with the two, the black nigga with the fucking <laughs> yeah. The two, I like the dog side. I the, have never watched the full. I can't. Watch I like the dog shit. side. I never. I this nigga did not take me for a Star Wars nigga. I swear to God, I'm like, a Star Wars, man. that's funny as well. Nobody knew all this. No, my favorite, my, my shit is Norby. Me. This nigga Norby. Yeah. Really? <laughs> I had to watch that shit so much when my uh, child was young. I no, that shit. But Star Wars, I ain't going to lie. When, I was, when we were young, Star Wars was the shit. I'm a Star Wars, Star Wars was the shit. I ain't going to lie. They, they just lost me a little bit, but it it, it is fire. And when I sat down no, and watched it, I'm like, man, these bitches got some fire storytelling. The new shit, this is, that bitch go. I, I want to see more of that shit. Yeah, like, I want to see... Like, like when I was well, Star Wars story, Cole, it was a little boy. He was good. Then he turned bad. Then he had the kid. He was good. He fucked him up. Turned him back good. We need more animators and shit, dog. Cause like we could, man, though, you could come up with some shit like that. So. Oh, I got some shit. I I Boogie Bird. I need Boogie Bird animated right now. I Any animator that's come holler at me, I'm trying to animate Boogie Bird and do these commercials. I won't be in one of them fucking commercials. Fuck that. I got cold. I got. I didn't wrote a cold. I'm trying to get that bitch right now. I got to shoot that bitch. What commercial? Ooh, I got a nigga be sitting at the table eating. Uh, uh, grab it now. Eat boo hoo food. Let's show that midget type nigga. Mm -hmm. Feet swing. Uh, he gonna jump out that bitch full. Hold all his stomach. Walk out the door. As soon as he walk out the door, I'm gonna have a muscle nigga come up, pick that bitch up, pat him on the back, and brush <laughs> <it> back. <laughs> but kill that bitch. <laughs> Yo, 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 I'm telling you, dog. Like this nigga, what? Like what, the first time I interviewed him, he said he <coughs> gonna make a movie about 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 being in a project and the first like DJ Irv and shit. Like he was like running like the yeah. whole fucking movie. I need to write it down. Like he got that bitch in his head. He got the whole movie in his fucking head. I need to write. I need to write. So he running the fucking movie down like. A cold ass movie, but this nigga, this nigga is so much 100% business, business, business. I can't see how he would have time to do that. Purple monkey face I seen lap. that shit. You gotta say the whole thing. Purple monkey face lap. What is like it? a pimp named Slickback or a tribe called Quest. Purple monkey face lap. Face lap. Yeah, it's the awakening of wellness. You might need to get slapped to get woke up and get off the tobacco and get on this TAC CBD earth. I got tensions. I got all. I got. I got CBD. I got. I got. I got. I got, I got tobacco too, fuck it. I got tobacco too. Mm -hmm. We got wraps, papers, all that, gummies. All this over here, man. I got pipes, hookahs. I'm just, gotta just stay, I just stay selling shit. Yeah, once you find a product, this nigga you never gonna, on. This nigga never gonna um, make a movie. No, this nigga, though, when I was, I watched the commercial for the um, Purple Monkey Face Lap, man, this nigga got all kind of man. shit up in the high tech shit. Oh, yeah, we got that electric. Hi. Electric pipe. Tell him, tell him, tell him. The shell pipe, electric pipe. You put the nugget on, hit the button, boom. Fuck the party up. <laughs> Mike Whitfield. <laughs> blow, 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 blow the whole party out. <laughs> After about 40 hours, then we come in. No! No! I, I, I keep running out these bitches every week. These <laughs> bitches going like hot cakes. I went home, my son had one. He said, Dad, I saw that bitch on. I said, bitch, you got know one. <laughs> <laughs> the commercial was so fire, though. I'm looking at this shit, I'm like, the no, rhyme in there, bitch. They got all that for I'm like, man, Pretty low. Pretty low man, these niggas on 10. These niggas on They gonna tell me too low to make real decisions. No, that's when you make the best decisions. <laughs> all the time. <laughs> that's when you make the best fucking decisions. All the decisions. time. No. If I was male, I'm telling you, yeah, I'm for the see, people. The first thing see, I'll do see. is get Sergeant Waterboy right. Everybody knows Sergeant Waterboy is stealing all the money. The niggas ain't going to work. Nigga bullshit. This is, this is a known thing in the world. 
didn't want the niggas just get a raise or some shit? Man, everybody getting beat. They said nigga any kind of bill. I'll put a whole committee over that bitch. Overhaul all of this. We're going to find out where the leaks at right now. Skip for milk, bro. Right now. We're going to find out where the leaks at. Skip for milk. that money we got to fix all these streets from Katrina? Now it's time to fix these streets. So look, that's what they're doing right now. That's why every fucking street blocked off and fucked up. Because now they got a date. They got to hurry up and spend that shit. They spend the money because they bullshit it so long with the money. Right. Bullshit it so long. Trying to get interest off the money. Give people some money over. Right. But if if you get, who's going to get the interest? Who that money go to? Y'all just stupid. They got to turn the shit back. Won't y'all just fix the shit? They had the money to fix the shit for you. They're trying to figure out some way to put some of that shit in their pocket. As always, (laughs) son. They they watching it? They still watching it. (laughs) <laughs> if they're waiting yeah. for somebody to turn their backs and they can put some of that shit in their pocket. <laughs> fuck those, right. And people kept their eye on that fucking money, though. Because they know New Orleans. Yeah, and people like, bitch, send, look, what month is it? Send an itinerary. Oh, y'all just still didn't spend nothing? Oh, all right, you know how we do. Here, we're going to spend some. Oh, no, we ain't spend nothing. No, bitch, I need that itemized. Yeah, what the fuck you talking crap. about? That a cop said somebody spent something. something. You hear me? Oh, no, we put it back. <laughs> that's, why y'all that's what's going on. That's what's going to be on. terrible. Uh, I'm telling you, and, and they don't have enough companies that's in the loop because you know how they do. They don't like the police got the, the mayor ain't got the police confidence. They ain't like, I'm out here for my mayor. What? They like, this bitch tripping too. They hustling. Yeah. All the police hustling. The police go there, the, the mayor go there to the counter the police. I'm out here for the mayor. Don't, none of that police feel like that. Don't nobody fuck with nobody. The DA, the police. The DA not fuck with the police. Oh, the thing is, the police live here. Like, all the police live here. All the people who live in City Hall, they live in La Plaza and Slidell. So, right. so, 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 so the police not about to be getting in all these motherfucking shit. That's the illest shit. shit you said yeah. ever. That's real. This nigga, he, he. We should have made them City Hall motherfuckers got to stay in New Orleans too. Yeah, y'all got to stay here. Yeah, y'all, y'all got to stay here. Whatever you represent, bitch, that's where you live. Yeah, you got all these motherfuckers. They don't give a fuck. Yeah, y'all got y'all money, got the fuck out of New Orleans to get yep. paid off New Orleans. Yep. Yep. Even the Saints. The Saints, we ain't met a Bitch, y'all need to come right here. Yo, bitch, y'all practice that Joe Brown now. You <laughs> fuck all <on> that. <laughs> <laughs> Fuck no, bitch. Joe Brown, bitch. <laughs> but y'all, y'all. Nigga, they I bet you the East get. I bet you the Saints start practicing that Joe Brown. Watch how the East get f- so fixed. That everybody oh. be want to come see the fucking oh. practice. We they need them all back. We bro. need, yeah, we need some uh, development in the East. They not looking for. They ain't shopping development in the East. They out there bad for that too. Right. The East could be looking like fucking Elmwood. Yeah. They. Y'all ain't right. shopping no development, but y'all take them East tax dollars. They know. Y'all take them tax dollars. Man. Like I said house tax. We just tax, regular sale old tax. niggas and we just talking saying this. They know this they shit. They know this shit already. Yo, skip for me. You hear me? And I'm back and everything he said. You hear me? We're going right. to put Byron Cole on the committee because he's crazy. <laughs> He'll say some shit too. Oh, crazy. <laughs> He'll say some shit. That's you hear me? That nigga going to say what some shit. What you mean? I'm going to have on my committee. I'm going to have on my committee. We, we can't put Byron Cole back as Mel because... They gon' they gon' you hear me? They gon' try to they gon' try to fuck with my partner. He here, so he's he can still yeah. say his shit. He gonna be on my cabinet. But <laughs> <laughs> well, he definitely need to go ahead and get on the board some type of way. Go ahead and work your way on. Nah, he bro. fucking with it. He just he he playing chess right now. They know if they let him in, he gonna tell every secret what? you know on them niggas. What? Really? Uh, Ain't gonna be no more secrets. <laughs> <laughs> Everything y'all doing about to be out there. <laughs> They ain't right on another the part of this. Nah, ain't. yeah, mark him off. He ball. not going along with this shit. <laughs> and he gonna sit there and, and, and listen and do all that shit. I know the my second, nigga. My nigga is not going second. along with this bullshit. <laughs> Soon they do some bullshit, it's over with from. But that's what we need them for. That for. Yeah. No, that's we need Byron Cole because these are extreme times and we need extreme people. He gonna get up. There's the lead catcher. Yeah. And, and, and Skip, you one of them extreme people. You will see some shit that turn up. I've been a smack one there. See, that was wrong with me. Because they've been lying, and I've been asking them. I've been asking myself. They've been told me that because we right there. Mm-hmm. Then I've been to find out they lied. So I'm going to go back to them and ask them again. And see when they make up the excuse. I'm going to smack the fuck out one of them. <laughs> simple battery. You can burn out the simple battery. Ain't that much. I got that much. I can burn out on a couple of simple batteries. So I'll be batting the fuck out there. <laughs> So I'm bad the hell no. Well, he was gonna bat the fuck out. I gotta think I'm gonna bat the fuck out now when I catch him. I, was, I ain't gonna skip, I'm gonna smack him that hard. 
I got a nigga boy, a big political figure. What? Boy, I'm gonna smack the fuck out of <laughs> show off. Y'all gonna say Skip said that. <laughs> well, what he did, Skip? That was y'all, I'm gonna tell y'all, yeah, that nigga foul, man. Right. And when I catch him, whoo! He be having the deputy sheriff security guards with him and shit. But he don't know, they gonna mark the way and let me smack the fuck out. That way he don't know. I'm gonna fuck on when I catch him. I got my battery money now. Allegedly. I'm going on. Allegedly. I'm blam. Blam, I'm gonna come give you some money now. I'll take it out. I'm gonna blam, I'm gonna give you some money now to pay the fine. Because I'm gonna back the fuck out when I catch you. Yeah. All of this is a legend. Yeah. Hypothetical. No, My you man. can tell God. You might as well tell God, Jesus, the police. You can tell what you want, but I'm gonna back the fuck out you when I catch you. So, you know, Dave Chappelle with, with the boy the translator to see what he, what he really was saying? Yeah, all this hypothetical. <laughs> boy, I'm gonna catch Sidney Torres. Ah, no, he's out. not. No, he's not. <laughs> I'm gonna back the fuck out Sidney Torres. This is Benjamin's room podcast. I'm gonna do that bitch. When I catch that bitch. This whole podcast is hypothetical. That bitch gonna be at a dinner somewhere at a bank and I'm gonna be in that bitch. Boy, I'm gonna see that bitch. Boy, there you go. <laughs> back the fuck uh, out. This is all hypothetical. Yeah. <laughs> we here with the skipper. It's gonna be hype. <laughs> it's gonna, it's gonna be hype. <laughs> I'm gonna bat that bitch. I owe that bitch one. Oh man. That bitch gonna understand about New Orleans. Oh, no. That bitch gonna see. That bitch been ready to throw them bitches. <laughs> Hope you won't throw them bitches. Dog, skip. Yo, I, that, I knew this was gonna be a crazy podcast, mm. yo. When I first, they could go tell him, yo. Look at that Jesus, <laughs> and we didn't go to where we was about to go when we first started. We was not. Oh, that bit one. I'm gonna bat the fuck out of All right, Skip. Why? <laughs> <laughs> Trying to go at him like a man. <laughs> he was on some total bullshit. I got the spot downtown, the restaurant, right, boom. <laughs> Gave, gave niggas some plate with the garbage shit, pick up the trash. Boom, the hurricane come. Knock the fucking roof off. Boom, the roof knocked off. I came over, so I'm telling the man to me kind of cancel the contract. Because we're going to be closed for like a next year to the thing in the building, right? He's like, no, you can't cancel the contract. You got to pay me. I got to pay you. You ain't picking up trash. We ain't got no trash. Can we close? Oh, the contract said you got this. Oh, talk, talk to my lawyer. Mm. Oh, fuck you then. And why can I see your face? I'm going to show you what it's in for. I ain't got time to play on you, right? Go ahead and do all that. I'm going to see you in court and all that. But see, when I see you man to man, watch what happen. What bad the fuck out you? Yeah, you want to play on a nigga from the hurricane? That what you want to do? That's cool, thing. you can do all you can say. All that is all cool, but nigga, consequences for your actions. That was just come up. Yeah, you got consequences for your actions. That, that, ain't about that, ain't that much money. It's a couple of dollars. I'm going to back the fuck out you. I'm playing on a nigga for the hurricane. That's why I'm going to back the fuck out. Believe me. Put that on God. Y'all go tell him. I don't give a fuck you tell him. I don't give a fuck. What you say? Yeah, it's a battery. I'm telling you what it is. I'm going to back the fuck out. Be ready when you see me. You asked him. On sight. And this is Benjamin's Room Podcast, episode 11. Right. With Skip. Yeah. With Skip. Like the show, one fire. And one and them. Sydney Torres. I'm a bad fuck. <laughs> <laughs> you got your tag, you know what I'm talking about? I'm a bad fuck out. <laughs> uh, and we out. Um, <laughs> I'm a bad dad. <laughs> that old ass bitch. Dog, you know the crazy thing? That's what, the, that's what the rest of the trash people doing to us. Well, yeah. Cause they still they picking the trash up once, once a week, week charge twice us. a week. Ain't no trash to pick up. We close, <laughs> nigga. <laughs> <laughs>